everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, today I'm sharing with you a design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. Um, her name is Jamie. She is scrapping stampers here on YouTube. I'll link both of them down below in the description box. Um, for my project, I did create a card and I decided to do... Um, some paper piecing this time around. Um, the last one I colored with my ink tense pencils. Um, so I wanted to do something a little different. And I used this Greeting Farm Fru Fru Birthday stamp. This is one of the new releases from the Greeting Farm um, for the month of August. I believe it was released August 1st. So that was the stamp I used, and it's a very nice, larger size stamp. Um, you can see in relation to my hand, it is just, it's a nice big image, and I really like that. Um, that was what I took really into consideration when I did my project this time around. Um, I decided, because she was a bigger stamp, to use her as a main focal image, as opposed to um, the last time around, what I did, I colored in tense pencils, but I added a lot of other embellishments the last time around. Um, so this time I really focused on the image itself and I paper pieced her and I think she came out gorgeous um, even though there is a lot of this little detail in her skirt and the gifts and stuff it still came out very nice so I'm very happy with it. Um, here is the project that I created. Um, I kind of got this layout idea from Jo Thompson. She is um, a design team member for the greeting farm and she's also my design team member for a three-month term and she did something similar to this um, for her project for the greeting farm so thank you Joe for all of the inspiration um, when I decided to do this I wanted to make it softer tones um, so I used all of my paper came from this six by six paper pad. It is my mind's eye, follow your heart, be happy, six by six pad. Um, the papers that I used in this were this little stripe one here was for her dress. Um, then I used this polka dot one, which was down here. Then I used the reverse of that polka dot one. It has this little image on it, but I used the neutral part that went along with it. And used that for the bottom part of the dress. And then um, for the two presents and the middle part of her hat, what I did was this sheet here that has all these really fun shapes and patterns on it I pulled out three that I thought worked well together and like this polka dot here was the polka dot that I used for her hat and then this present was this one up here with the banners and then this present was one that had some flowers on it which was this one right here um, so I paper pieced all of those and then I just took uh, my Copics, which was the B triple and the B quadruple zero, to add a blue highlight to the bottom of her dress. Um, I took the W1 and W double zero just to add some shading around in her dress so that it wasn't so flat to give it some dimensions. Um, I did the same two Bs, the triple and quadruple zero, to add some shading to her hat, the top and the bottom where I did not paper piece. And then I took my YR02 and colored in the two hearts and all of the hearts um, along the bottom of her dress. Her hair, I did E00, um, E53, and E55 was the darkest. Um, I just kept her real light brown tone and then her skin I kept very very light as well and I used the E00 and the E11 yes and E11 and then I did some R20 on her cheeks to give her some blush um, and then around the outside of it I wanted just to do a real quick simple frame around it um, the four corners I used this, this sticker pack from Heidi Grace, and I just pulled um, four of the middle teal dots off of that. Two of them are striped, two of them are stars, 
And then for around the outside, I used an American Craft stamp marker. And I'm trying to remember which one it is now. I'm looking at my markers. It's this one here. Um, the American Craft stamp marker. And this one was in color chestnut. Um, it was a light brown, but it was real close to this tan color here so that all the colors stayed tied in together. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Um, I know I'm loving, loving my design team so far this month. It has been amazing, and I'm having so much fun, and it gives me the time that I can actually sit down and do stuff, and I force myself to do it, which is awesome. So thank you, Jamie, so much for having me on your design team. If you would like to purchase this stamp, Jamie does have it in her Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. I'll put the link down below. I'll also put a link to her um, YouTube page, which is Scrappin' Stampers here on YouTube. And um, stay tuned. I'll be back again next week with her another project. Thank you, guys, and have a great day.